I think I got enough I can do it here. Okay. Okay. Now tell us who we got here. I'm John Rogers, pastor here at Beaver Road Baptist Church. This is my wife, Tina. And they are a great team. And I can testify to it by just watching how they work with their parishioners out here, the members of their church. You know, being bad just won't stop you from sinning, but it'll stop you from enjoying it. Amen. I learned that statement from <laughs> Wendell Ford one time in a speech, that's good, that's and I've used it a lot of times since I was named after John the Baptist by my mother, who was a very wonderful lady. So I wanted to ask you all, though, uh, what do you want to say about the church here to invite people to come? Is there any particular uh, thing you want to send a message out to folks? Yeah, I mean, you know, this church, uh, Tina and I both, we were actually saved in this church oh, several years ago, and uh, we had been able to come back as pastor. Very loving church, very friendly church. That, that's one of the first things people notice when they come. Uh, how that everybody is willing to receive them just the way they are, not prejudgmental or you know anything like that. So uh, just being able to, to come and enjoy it, uh, love, time of fellowship, love, love, absolutely. What I learned from Billy Graham in 1956 poked me on the chest, and my little sister on the chest too went on to be a first grade teacher. And he said. The Holy Spirit's job to convict. It's God's job to judge. It's my job to point to Himself. And now you, Johnny, and you, little Judy, your job to love. Absolutely. And uh, that's what I've tried to do with all the videos I do. Over 5,000 of them. Videos to promote love. And the no greatest love is reading the scriptures, which my wife sends me one every day to post on YouTube and Facebook. And she came up with this idea. She went to Randy with it, wrote up something, went to me with it, wrote up something. And that is for seven Tuesdays between now and election. And she's asking everybody to either have a prayer service at 7 o'clock on Tuesdays for the next seven Tuesdays, or if you're by yourself, pray, or with your group, pray, or with your church, pray. 7 o'clock on Tuesdays, pray that people get out and vote for godly principles. If you aren't registered to vote, check my YouTube channel out. The county clerk's name's there. The address is there. We're going to look at how to get to register. the register. Vote. You can register up until October the, I think it's the 5th or 6th. You can register. So you can still go out and register to vote. And then vote. And, and vote for godly principles. Standing on the stage with uh, Governor Brewerton Jones one day. He said to me, he said, John, why do you have, have everybody sign in your Bible? Because I've had presidents and senators and everybody. Because I want them to know it's the most important book in the world. Amen. And it used to be posted on every classroom of our schools. And I was superintendent of education, the last elected one. And we should have never taken the scriptures down off the school walls. I agree. I agree. And uh, so anyway, I just wanted to ask everybody to pray. For the to Jesus Amen. on seven o'clock, and God bless you. And nice to be out here. What's the phone number where people could reach you? Do you have a phone number? Yeah, you can call the church at eight five nine three eight four three eight two zero three eight two zero three eight four three eight two zero. God bless you and have a great day. And we love you. God bless. You. Thank you so much. We love you. You're.
here, went and got me something to eat, so. Randy Wallace, starting the second set here. Got another band coming on right after him. I'll try to stay a while and film it too, a little bit of it. Here at Beaver Lick Baptist Church. What's your name? What's your name? Joan? Joyce. Joyce Walters? Barge? Burgess. Joyce Burgess. Well, fantastic. And the lady's name that's getting the food for me? Sandra. Wolf? Bless her heart. I just wanted to get her name on here, the record, to thank her. <laughs> And thank you. Oh, wonderful. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Some beans and cornbread. I'm telling you. Yep. Okay. Well, Simon Kett, I don't know what year, but Simon Kett. 1961. 61. I didn't know you personally. I just know you can see the picture now, but you're in jail or something. Well, you're liable to find me anywhere where I can where I can preach for the Lord. Well, I just happen to recognize you. Well, God bless you. What? The Cowan, the new Bob Cowan, all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. 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 Now, now, what's your name? Van Lanningham. And your first name is? Dave. Dave Van Lanningham. I graduated in 64. Though. 64. Yeah. You graduated with my sister, Judy Stevenson, then. Judy Stevenson. She graduated in either 64 or 65. Well, I've been graduated in 65. Is that right? Yeah. Well, praise the Lord. Yeah. Nice to be here with you. It's a beautiful service. and. I'm filming it all for my YouTube channel and Facebook. Okay. So you'll be on YouTube and Facebook. <laughs> Say some nice things about me. <laughs> you, you probably don't remember me. I used to go to the Rick Levin meetings. Oh, yes. On the first Wednesday of the month. Yes, absolutely. God bless you. So God nice bless you. Nice to be. I was going to ask you, are you going to see me? No, Kentucky. I will if they want me to. You, you have to talk to the people in charge, but I'd be happy to do so. Tell Randy up there he might let me, but I'd be happy to do it. God bless you for singing. Well, thank you very much. You and Happy Chandler. Me and Happy Chandler. That's, he's the one who taught me how. Well, he tells me what. Yeah. Okay. You got beans and cornbread, you got chili with cheese, and you got donuts, and you got a piece of cake. Praise the Lord. I don't know what you want for And your name is? You want Coke, Sprite? Uh, anything diet. Do you have anything diet? Don't worry about it if you don't. Ice will be fine.
Now that's what Joyce brought me there to eat. And a wonderful meal. And it's Joyce is her name, right? Your name's Joyce and her name Hers is what? Sandra. And her last name is Wolf. Sandra Wolf. Sandra Wolf and Joyce together helped me get my meal here. And uh, I'll eat it as soon as I get finished filming Brandy here. Oh, wonderful. Praise the Lord. Diet Coke and bean soup and everything. Thank you so much. That's fine right there. I told him, he said he's got a bunch of people that were lined up that he was trying to get to. Well, good. Are you going to be here for a while? I'll be here for a while, or Randy will get me up there if, if you ask him. He, he played with me. He plays with me every Friday night, uh, every fourth Friday at the homeless shelter. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, that next game right there. I'll be here. Some of the folks are wanting me to sing my old guitar. Hi. All right. Here we go. Will you, will you film it? John? Okay. Thank you. It's already running. All you okay. have to do is hold it. All right. Hold I got it. There. All right. I got you. Brandy, don't make him get on the stage. You know who this is? That's Johnny Stevenson. He goes with Randy down to Fairhaven every, every uh, fourth Friday of the month. I'm record. I'm recording. This is Randy's mom, Mary. I'm recording for Johnny. He's going to send my old Kentucky home. I really appreciate the hospitality here by the pastor, his wife, and uh, all of the other folks that grabbed a hold of me as they came in. And I said, "Good Lord, I'm going to fall down here if I'm not careful. Too many people." Well. Let me tell you something. Christians can grab me any day of the year because I love them and I've learned a lesson. I learned it from Billy Graham in 1956 at Billy Graham Crusade. It's the Holy Spirit's job to convict. It's God's job to judge. It's my job to love. If somebody wanted to hear me sing my old Kentucky home, Randy and I go to the homeless shelter every fourth Friday. In fact, we'll be there this coming Friday singing at Fairhaven Rescue Mission. And we've been doing that for 30 years. And uh, I don't know of another Baptist minister that carries the credentials and love and cherish that Randy Wallace has at Oak Ridge Baptist and his wonderful wife, Gail, who's now holding the camera. <laughs> I gave her a duty she probably could do without, but we know what to do. we got good wives, don't be ready. Oh, that's right. Well, I was taught this song by Happy Chandler back in 1968 when I was president of student government. And I sang it in every county in the state of Kentucky, uh, as being superintendent of education for the whole state of Kentucky and former commissioner of motor vehicles for Kentucky. But the most important thing I am is that I love the Lord Jesus. I love the Lord and gave his life for each and every one of us. And uh, we need to love more. And don't forget, there's only seven Tuesdays left before the election. Yeah, and you can register to vote up until October the 6th or 7th, I believe it is. If you need any questions about it, just check my YouTube site. we got the county attorney's numbers on there. And go out and vote. And vote your heart and vote for godly principles. And the song goes like this, Randy. I'll do a little wisdom first. And the meadows are in bloom, and 
the birds make music all the day. Weep no more, my lady. Oh, weep no more today. We will sing one song for my old Kentucky home, for my old Kentucky home. Away. Now before I sing the last verse here, I want to remind you of something. Small Baptist churches, I was named after John the Baptist by my mother, who was a pianist and, and Sunday school teacher at the little Kitten Baptist Church in Kitten Station, Kentucky. Walter Broden, John Grizzell, Vernon Mikens, and Carl Coby were four of the deacons. Brother Kerger was the pastor and his wife's name was Colin. And they took that old rickety church bus and took all of us kids, including my little sister Judy Stevenson, who went on to be a first grade teacher. And they took us down to Lowell, Kentucky, where we were there with Billy Graham's crusade, where we gave our lives to the Lord. You know, it's very important that we all understand one thing. We all owe our existence to Jesus. The things we have, the love we have, the gift of the Bible, the Bible, the smartest book in the world. I remember standing on the stage with Governor Brereton Jones and he asked me, he said, John, why do you ask everybody to sign in your Bible? And I said, well, sir, it's the most important book in the world to me. And he said, God, John, you're the most God-fearing man I've ever met. And I said, I respect God, and I respect His words in the Bible. Tonight, I respect Him by singing you this last verse of this song from my heart, from the man that taught it to me, Happy Jim. Sing it from your heart. Oh, the children go on the little cabin floor, all merry, all happy and bright. By and by our time comes a knocking at the door and my old Kentucky home says goodnight. Now join in with me. We You know, life, you, you, you run into people that you've seen before, that you've known before, that they've been working before. And one of the hardest Next workers I've ever known is this lady right here. Now, tell us who you are. I'm uh, Cookie from Cookie's Diner. And I've eaten at Cookie's many, many Next times, and that's always a beautiful meal. Five. Now, you're not there anymore, nope. but, nope. but all of us old codgers knows Cookie's was the place to go. And a place to witness to people. A place and to prayer. witness to people yeah. with prayer. Now, what are you up to now? All right, we're going to give away Not much. Well, just pass right the word. Pass the working word. for Jesus. Working for Jesus is what I'm doing. Well, now remember, there's only seven Tuesdays left. Yeah. Go to prayer at 7 o'clock on Tuesdays. Wherever you are, go to prayer for the nation. Yeah. At church or by yourself or with some other friends. Yeah. That's for the next seven Tuesdays. Seven Tuesdays. Next seven Tuesdays. I'll put the word out. Put the word out. Yeah. Yep. That's good. Yeah. My wife, June, did that. Thanks to her. Yeah. Her and, her and Randy. I'll try to get get some people together to do that. Yep. Check it out on Facebook and YouTube. I will. God bless you. All right. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thanks, 
Nothing like giving away a present. Beautiful. Can't beat that. Little baseball bats. Kids love the bats. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful.